All right, Coach, we're approaching our uh, fourth game of the year. Um, Avila comes into town. Um, you guys, last game, suffered our first loss of the season, but uh, how, do we, uh, get, how do you get your team to bounce back? Well, the key is, yeah, we lost to our rival, Benedictine. We, we were in it to the end and had a chance to win it. We didn't make enough plays to win it, and they took it from us at the very end. So uh, you don't want to allow a team like that to beat you twice. And that's an old saying in football, but if you're, if those feelings are lingering all week and you're not focused on Avila University, all of a sudden Saturday you get in a ball game and you get your butt whipped twice. So we've been f focused on, yeah, we've got to correct what we did wrong. Uh, we've got to get more aggressive in some areas. We inserted a couple players in some positions that might help us um, with depth as well as, hey, at the end of the game we're a little fresher. But the big focus has been on ourselves, correcting mistakes, and realizing we've got an opponent coming in, coming into our place at, with a record of two and one, and a very good football team with a lot of confidence. And uh, so we've got to we've got to show up Saturday with a with a desire to get on top quickly and uh, play 60 minutes of football. What are some things you and your staff have have? You know, honed in there, especially on the defensive side. You know, that's that's the side that you know is, is definitely in need of improving. Um, what have you guys done this week to to shore that up? Yeah, from a stat standpoint, it's obvious that uh, we've given up too many yards and too many points. Uh, Coach Thorne has been open to ideas. Uh, he's had his own ideas, of course. After a loss, a tough loss, uh, you, you know, you're just thinking of everything. What can we do? I'm not a big guy into change just to change. If we're going to change something, it better work and it better help us in the next game. So I, I think we put some things together for this weekend's game. We're going to give an opportunity to a couple guys uh, starting positions to start and give us some energy there. And what I think that helps us, like I said, I think it gives us depth and I give, it gives us fresh legs throughout the game. So we addressed all issues. We addressed personnel, uh, each position. We looked at it, who's playing well, who's not. Let's make some changes. Let's get this guy going. And then we look at our special teams. Hey, who's our best there? Field position, what should we do? You know, after three games, you have an idea what your kicker can handle, how your punt team's doing, what your kickoff crew's doing. So about the three-game evaluation, you know, you're almost a quarter of the way through the season, so you just look at all those things. And then offensively, we had an injury in the offensive line. We're going to start two redshirt freshmen on the right side, have great confidence in them, they're ready to go, but our depth isn't very good up front. So we've got to do some things during practice to alleviate the hitting to hopefully be healthy come game day. So there's a lot of things going on. Our quarterback got hurt, he's healthy later in the week, so we feel like he can go for us, but we have a backup that we have to get ready just in case, and uh, our backup happens to be pretty good. And then our third guy played all spring, did a nice job, is ready to get us out of a game or have to go win a game for us. So those are all decisions you make during the week and you hope you made the right evaluation and the right decisions and we won't know until Saturday. Coach Saturday will also be kind of a special night for you. It's your 100th career game as head coach here at Baker. Uh, talk about what that means to you and, and how you've you know been able to uh, you know sustain being here at Baker for 100, 100 games. You're good, man. You, <laughs> How long did that take you? Because uh, I wasn't aware of that. And then uh, that, that, that to me, hey, I looked, you know, as soon as I saw that in print, I thought, wow, it's flown by. Uh, I felt lucky. I felt like a support group as far as administration, uh, the, the many ADs. Uh, but number one, the players. Hey, we've had a, about a thousand kids come through. Uh, great kids, uh, you know, great opportunity to work with these guys. And then biggest thing is my coach's consistency. We've had coordinators here for many years. We've had players that play for us and then coach for us and then GA for us. So I think it's, uh, it's something that I'm reflecting on, just saying, hey, yeah, hopefully there's 100 more. You know, I can only count on one, and uh, that's what we're doing. But... I, I just kind of, I guess, look back with, with pride that I think we've become a consistent program. We've improved year in and year out, and uh, that's all you can kind of measure as far as a coach and, and what you're doing.
but uh, the, the big thing is it's been an honor to, to be at Baker University that long. Also, Coach, along with your 100th career game, we also have Family Day Saturday and Military Appreciation Night, um, Armed Forces Night is, is the name of it. Um, talk about um, you know the importance of, of celebrating our military personnel and, and kind of the things we'll have going on that night. Uh, you know, great opportunity, Family Day, of course. The kids, some of them haven't seen their family since they arrived, so that's going to be neat for them. Uh, you know, a night game, which I always like during Family Day because they – they can see them in the morning, distractions, you know, take them to lunch. Then we got them for the pregame meal. And then, of course, uh, we keep the family act active with things on campus so the, they, they understand the pride that goes into our university. And then they get, hopefully get a good show out there at, at Liston Field. Uh, military, that's, that's fantastic for us to support the guys and women that support us uh, and, and protect our freedom. I'm all about that. You know, I, 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 I'm, I, it's going to be great that, you know, hopefully we get a lot of them to come out and watch us play. Uh, you know, we're going to have some surprises, I hear, which will be neat for the atmosphere of the game. And then, you know, to me, it recognizes what those people do day in and day out for us to, to, to be here. Thank you, Coach. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you.